you, you actually uh, had a photo tape here, didn't you, at uh, the Universal Studios, yeah. you were telling me? Yeah. And uh, you told everyone it was your house. What was no, that? No, I, I, I told no one it was my house, but that's the way the article read. It said that that was where I live. Well, that's fine, yes. <laughs> I live in front of a prop in Universal Studios. <laughs> what better place for bad rubbish, huh? Have you got a few bob in the bank now? No, I don't. I'm quite piss poor. But, I mean, uh, public you bastards don't tonight. buy enough records to make me wealthy. <laughs> <laughs> so Let's you... get factual, you know. This ain't no multi-millionaire here. But, I mean, you're world famous, aren't you? Well, I might have a big name and a big frame, but there's piss all in the bank. <laughs> Have you actually paid your... Do you pay taxes in England or over here now? England. I'm here on a tourist visa. I mm. thought I explained this to you. <laughs> you are very tedious. I know. Well, you know what I'm like. In one ear, out of my mouth. Well, it's funny you say it's yeah. a big Typical Manchester <laughs> gobshite. Go I was, on. I was a big fan of yours, <laughs> to be honest with you. Was. <laughs> I, probably, I probably paid for part of that one time or other. I doubt that, don't you? <laughs> the tuppers you put in my account really doesn't amount to very much. <laughs> right, well, you're going to stick around with us, I hope. Ugh, like <laughs> shit to... Uh, <laughs> now, where we are is uh, one of the biggest tourist attractions in the world. There you go. Anarchy out of a bottle of air gel, that, huh? nowadays. Are you into The Simpsons, then? One, two, one, two, yeah. one. Oh, no, that's... Oh, yeah. That, let's, 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 let camera can't see it there. Little Bart Simpson on your thing. Uh, have you actually done the tour here at Universal? Uh, look, I, uh, I stayed on after uh, my last tour here because I fancied a good holiday because I really like LA because it's a real hoot. But... Everywhere I go, it's on. Like, it's Bart! <laughs> <laughs> it's great to be recognised. So, you know, for $3, I bought the Bart accessory. <laughs> Does it remind you of you when you were a kid? Uh, no. <laughs> you, well, in a way, yeah. I'm sure they must have based something of it on the little bastard called Rotten. <laughs> <laughs> and have you done the, the rounds here? Oh, is it at Universal? Oh, I've been here many times. Yeah, it's a playground. Do you get in for Don't free, though? It. You movie stars, you know, you make me sick. <laughs> <laughs> You're so spoiled. She bought a knitting with her anyway, didn't she? <laughs> anyway, now from the stable, that bought you a tone low. Tell. This is uh, one of LA's most credible rappers. Uh, Be nice featuring to his own dancers, the Soul Brothers. This is Def Jeff and Black. <laughs> Def Jeff, Black to the Future. You actually... Uh, did a rap where you were the first person to actually collaborate with a black American rapper, weren't you, when you well, collaborated with Africa Bambara? I don't know From our side of the uh, Great Water. No, well, I work with Bambara, yeah. I mean, I like him a lot. Um, all credit where credit's due, Bambara really was, to my mind, one of the first people to mix rock with soul, with anything else, and just put it all together and, and just dance to it. Mm. Can you dance to that stuff, Ricky? I've seen I you like doing the mashed potato and that. Yeah. I'd like to think you could too. <laughs> I, I can. <laughs> Maybe I'll show you later. <laughs> well, now we'll, we'll go over That'll to. Uh, entertaining. We'll go over to our Amanda now. We spread ourselves about a bit on the Universal lot. <laughs> Whereabouts are you? <laughs> no, next I reckon between. And well, us, welcome right back to the Word. Coming we live to you from the Universal <laughs> Studios here in Hollywood. We've become a, a bit of a, a tourist attraction ourselves now. I think that's you, though, isn't it, John? Is it? Mr. John Lydon, tourist attraction, and you've got your Christmas box well, I'm up. Well, pretty damn universal. Plug your you greatest mean. hits album. <laughs> oh, yes, the greatest hits so far. Buy it. I need the money. I'm a pauper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, are you and David? P.S., get this. Right, uh, well, the whole reason I was invited here, actually, was uh, to promote uh, Rise, the, the remix <laughs> as a single. Lo and behold, I found out yesterday morning that Virgin have refused to release it because they say they don't have the budget. Well, is this the record company I need to be on? No. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, we're, we're going to get you to do a bit of work now because uh, we're going to have a look at some of the new films and uh, videos that are released over in England and one that will only be coming out in the States and won't yeah, be out in England you until got, uh, March. Have Dancers with Wolves yet? No, we're going to kick off uh, with this particular film, Bonfire of the Vanities, your favourite. Uh, it was a famous book. It's, it's just a nice uh, As a movie, it's just come out in the States <laughs> this week. Let's have a water with it. Is, is that one of your favourite shows over there? Uh, no, I don't think so, somehow. 
<laughs> it's um, it's just it's kind of normal for American TV, though. You know, you get lots of that kind of stuff. Uh, I wouldn't have picked that show out. <laughs> uh, actually, I, uh, what I would have done would I just run all the adverts in series, and then you'd really have a laugh. <laughs> what about you? Do you watch them? Do you use <laughs> oil and vinegar? <laughs> Whatever he said, I'm with him. <laughs> well, now, Asher, we've got an advert ne next because, uh, as you know, over in the States, they aren't very much Italian into ads. seasoning douche. <laughs> That's my fave. <laughs> Especially adverts <laughs> with a message for a good cause. Uh, this is one that will interest you, this advert, John. You hope. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Hi, my name's Steve Jones. I used to play guitar with a band called The Sex Pistols. A good friend of mine, Sid Vicious, died from drugs. I nearly died from drugs. Drugs suck. Warning us about the dangers of drugs. Well, looking at his face, you can well believe it. That's... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Steve, had to get that one in. <laughs> uh, have you asked? Have you been asked to do any other? That man looks drugs? ravished, doesn't he? Mm. <laughs> How, how do you feel about pop stars, you know, warning kids about drugs? Oh, is that what Steve is? Yeah. <laughs> oh, a novel. <laughs> I, I personally don't like to preach to people, so I, I, I try to get involved with other causes like AIDS and, and animal activists. I'm a big mm -hmm. animal activist. Don't Drug, say Drugs anything. are for toss pots anyway. Everybody knows that. Anyone with any sense. And the people that mess about with them are just good riddance to bad rubbish. Let them die slowly and painfully. They deserve nice. it. Is there a certain amount of uh, hypocrisy, though, in it when you see a pop star, you know, who's like got a lot of money and the disposable, yeah, oh, okay. the disposable the income old, to actually. The old pop star style types, yeah. Well, but, I mean, they, they, they can actually afford to uh, Look, buy this drugs. This is clean cut they're... Johnny here. A beer is about as good as it gets with me. <laughs> and no doubt they'll ban that next year, so I'm doomed then, am I? <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope your greatest hits album isn't, isn't doomed. Don't do drugs, yes, but adverts like that I don't think work at all. It, it looks like a joke, doesn't it? I mean, you need to be on drugs just to watch it. It's so painful. <laughs> now, are you, you going to spend Christmas here in LA? Yes, I am. Mm. I'm saving on the Christmas presents, see? <laughs> they got lost in the post. Oop! <laughs> Is, well, I've blown that one. <laughs> well, would you be sending Malcolm McLaren a Christmas card? Yeah, a pair of concrete slippers. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean... Are you, have you, are you actually fallen out of him completely now? Because you've got a few bob off When him, did we yeah? ever fall in? It's him who had a few bob off us, not the other way around. Have you ever bumped I into just, him? I just offer my professional services to the world. This man offers his professional vices. There's a big difference. I'm not corrupt, he is. But somehow he's popular and I'm not. Maybe there's no money in honesty, but that's the way it is with me. <laughs> have, you, have you actually me, bumped me, into me, him? Wonderful me. I who only had eyes for me can't take my eyes off of me. Have you bumped into <laughs> him while you've been out here in LA? No. Do you not get invited to all the posh parties in no, Bel Air and no, places I'm, like that? No, we're not part of that. Why not? This is pill stuff. This is the real life. Mm-hmm. Uh. <laughs> Charming. Oh, that, that's, that's, a, that's a disgrace, really, even at this time of the night. And we are live here in California, folks. Uh, I, think, I think we're going to take, take a break uh, in a minute, are we? What are we going to break? <laughs> Your career, if we're lucky. No, we're going to get a bit more information on some of your mates, actually. Yeah, the stars here in Hollywood as we go on another mission. They're no mates of mine, believe me. <laughs> Drugs. Roseanne Barr. Uh, we, we have her on every week. Apparently, uh, our lawyers have been on. You know. Have uh, they? Yeah, normally, normally they'd be suing my brain for lack of support, but this week uh, they've actually said that you can't accuse Malcolm McLaren of being corrupt because he's not here to defend himself. <laughs> well, I've done it, and I? So what? Well, it's, it's a disgrace, really. Yes, it? it's sod off. I'm basing this on truth and rights. I fought a court case against the very same thing. I won the court case. I will not have your cre crummy lawyers dictate terms to me. 
Okay, well, this I is a. Uh, I win against these we're people. Moving I on know. swiftly. Truth and right. The middle uh, name of this show. Uh, over to Amanda. Amanda. Yeah. Very festive, isn't it? A carpenter at Christmas. Uh, were you a carpenter's fan yourself? Yeah, yesterday? I was. Yeah. Before she killed herself with anorexia, or whatever else it was. And Ricky, what kind of music do you listen to? Now? Actually, I do like the Carpenters. Rainy days and Mondays always get me down. Right, yo, Roots. thanks a lot to Rocky, baby. Uh, you're a big fan of Dwight Yoke. Yes, I am. Dude. That's Roots. Tough stuff. Thanks, Dwight. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, well, when did you get into when did you get into country music? Well, oh, God, I'm Irish, and I. <laughs> it was always there. Any kind of folk music, period. I mean, that's what my band are. We won't be electronic, and you might think we're a big noise, but we're... we're... cunts, trying. Oh, all right, charming. Thank you for coming <laughs> in, uh, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Lydon. And uh, thanks a lot for coming in, Ricky. Thank you for having me. What are you doing over Christmas? I'm going home to see my family in New York. Mm, well, I'll come around to your house for tea oh. then. Anyway, <laughs> next week on the show, we talk to Paul Hogan and Banana Armour in the studio with the Stranglers for the all singing Dancing Trails of Word Christmas rip off show. Is that all we get? Oh, ah, yeah. Thanks yes. to our colonial Sad cousins. Sack word. I know, I know if we'd have uh, stuck it out a bit more in the 1812 war, we could have still.